Hello class, this is section 7.3 and we are going to work through an example of an inverse Laplace transform calculation that uses partial fractions. So you're asked to calculate this inverse Laplace transform and the first step is that using partial fractions we know that this is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of 1 half times 1 s minus 3 plus 1 half times 1 over s plus 3. But anyway, the point is that we use the linearity of the inverse Laplace transform. So we can just write down like this. And this boils down to two rather simple inverse Laplace transform problems. So first, so let's figure out what this one, the first one is. So you're looking for the Laplace inverse transform of s1 over s minus 3. So let's consult our handy little table. And the most similar term seems to be this one with a equals 3. So we get a 1 over s minus 3 exactly. And setting a equals 3 seems to work for e3t. So this term is just going to be e3t. And let's look at the second term, the plus inverse transform of 1 over s plus 3. So for this one, we look again, and it seems like a similar a will work, except that we need a equals minus 3 this time, so we get s plus 3. So we set a equals minus 3 here to get e minus 3t, and that's all we have which means that our Laplace inverse transform is going to be just 1 half times e raised to the 3t plus 1 half e raised to the minus 3t and that's all there is to it. 